On Sunday, May 17th, we got an update about the current bug fixes for Halo 2 and Halo 3. In this video, I'm going to give you all the information you need to know. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button that helps more people get the chance to see this video, get more up to date with everything going on in Halo, and it really helps support the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. As stated over the weekend, we got an update about the current bug fixes for Halo 2 and Halo 3, and they look rather promising. Now 343 and their partners have been working all over the weekend, continually grinding out these bugs, trying to get this patch out as soon as possible, and it seems like we're getting pretty close to that. We'll get right into the information here. Halo 2 projectile bug update. Our test team's investigation surrounding the code changes to Halo 2 are complete. From our testing, this bug has been verified, fixed in our latest development build. This will be available in the upcoming hotfix patch. So that is awesome. I was really worried that this bug was gonna have to be like months in advance or we at least weeks maybe even a month or so of just kind of to deal with halo 2 being kind of a buggy mess but it sounds like they got it they got it pinned down and it seems to be uh kind of working uh, as i showed in my previous video how they've been testing out these bugs it seems like the main issue with halo 2's projectile is that if anyone is looking down to the ground projectiles will just attack them friendly or foe we also have a bug fix update on Halo 3, which sounds to be a little bit more complex, but they go into the details here saying, QA has continued testing around a series of bug fixes on Saturday. The fixes involved appear to have resolved the rubber banding, desync, vehicles, objects, missing effects, and eventual instability in long matches in Halo 3. Our initial review of these changes show that these issues are no longer occurring on the Xbox One build. The teams are still investigating a crash on Valhalla that is reproducing currently in both custom and match-made game sessions. Engineers are working together a resolution of these issues right now. This is the last remaining bug we are planning to include in the upcoming hotfix build. So yeah, like I said, that's great news to hear from the teams that uh, sounds like majority of these bugs have been fixed. They just kind of worried about this one crash that's been happening on Valhalla. But other than that, it seems to be pretty much completely fixed. So I would assume we probably see this coming in maybe even this week or at least at latest next week would be my guess. Of course, this all kind of comes down whenever these bug fixes get figured out. Though it took the team less than a week to figure out the bugs going on with Halo 2 and Classic and most of the bugs happening in Halo 3. So I'm assuming this will probably be a rather quick turnaround as obviously it's a very, very high priority at the moment. Though in this update, they don't mention anything about the old Halo 2 legacy bug that made it into the launch build back in 2004 that they were looking into investigating and getting that fixed as well. No word on that one yet. No, we don't even know what it is really. Just kind of mentioned it as a legacy bug. So again, guys, once the, all these fixes come out, once the hot fix comes out, I guarantee you, I'll let you know on this channel, guys. So make sure you subscribe and keep up to date with all this news going on in Halo. So yeah, even though these bugs and issues are giving me some PTSD legacy flashbacks of 2014 release, this is definitely getting fixed a lot sooner than the 2014 releases, guys. So yeah, it's been a bit of a rough patch last week or so, but it seems like things are going to be even up pretty dang soon. Again, let's hope that this patch does fix a lot of things, because obviously I'm working with so many engines, there's a lot of moving parts. One little thing could mess something up. Whenever these bug fixes do go live, I guarantee I'll do a live stream on my Twitch channel, guys, to show you guys everything that's going on. If you guys want to jump in and play some games with me or just hang out and have a good time, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description down below. Let me know your experience down below in the comment section as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Have you just been kind of ignoring all the Halo-ness right now and playing the other games? Or are you kind of fighting through the bugs? You know, let me know what your experience has been over the last week. Make sure you tap subscribe to keep your guys up to date with all the information going on to the channel, guys. If you miss any content from me the last few weeks or so, I link to all of my videos right here. There's a playlist of all my news update videos that have been out of the loop for the last few days or so. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.